okay so uh, let's say uh, we have a container okay uh, actually a cylindrical container a cylindrical container with a movable piston and the area of cross section of piston is a external pressure is p external and obviously uh, the gas which is present inside the container is v let's say i say its volume is v initial okay next let's say i start just moving this piston inside to compress the gas and when the gas is compressed let's say the volume moves to this position okay so now the volume because of compression the volume decreases and it becomes v final and the distance moved by the piston in this is let's say l again the external pressure is p external okay so using all this process we know that uh, uh, change in volume would be length traveled by piston into area of cross section and delta v is v final minus v initial as the volume is decreasing so this would be a negative value and to make it positive let's use negative outside negative sign so l into a this is uh, we can say that minus delta v is equal to l into a and next thing what we have to do is actually we have to find out yes uh, the work done okay so uh, uh, we know what is work okay let me change the ink with more darker one what is work work is force into displacement d displacement displacement here is l because piston has moved l and uh, if we talk about force force is nothing but pressure into area substituting this value what we get force is equal to pressure and which pressure external pressure into l into a actually and into we have the distance traveled l okay now what we get that a, a into l was minus delta l so what we get that work is equal to minus p external delta v or for a proper process it if we integrate it from v initial to v final we get it minus p external delta v so this is what we get this is actually expression for a compression or expansion of a gas expansion or compression of a gas simply irreversible expansion or compression okay now moving forward what if uh this for a reversible process for a reversible process there are two actually opposing forces uh, p internal internal pressure and p external external pressure actually the internal pressure should be somewhat equal to less or greater than external pressure so we can say that for a reversible process p external would be almost equal to a infinite decimally small greater than or less than the internal pressure okay so applying this principle for reversibility what we get p reversible is equal to minus v initial to v final we get p internal in place of p external plus minus dp and then dv now this is very very small so we can ignore this and ignoring this what we get that reversible work comes out to be minus v initial to v final pressure internal delta v now for an ideal gas for an ideal gas because we are talking about ideal gas p is equal to nothing but n r t upon v now substituting this value into this what we get that reversible work is minus v initial to v final 
एन आर टी डी वी अपॉन वी नाउ हेयर एन इज कॉन्स्टेंट आर इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड बिकॉज इट इज एन आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस और टेम्परेचर इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट सो वॉट वी गेट माइनस एन आर टी देन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ फ्रॉम वी वन टू वी एफ वन अपॉन वी डी वी एंड वॉट वी गेट सॉल्विंग दिस माइनस एन आर टी एल एन नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ वी फाइनल अपॉन वी इनिशियल एंड कन्वर्टिंग इन इन टू लॉग वॉट वी गेट दैट वर्क रिवर्सिबल वर्क फॉर रिवर्सिबल आइसोथर्मल एक्सपेंशन और कंप्रेशन ऑफ एन आइडियल गैस वट वी गेट माइनस एन आर टी इन टू टू v final upon v initial so this is the actually expression for isothermal reversible expansion or compression of an ideal gas and now if we talk about one thing which is known as free expansion in free expansion what does mean this means that expansion at uh, when there is no no external pressure that means p external is zero and when there is no opposing force that means p external is zero in that case we know w work is nothing but it's minus p delta v and when pressure is zero then work is also zero so there is no work done in uh, free expansion of an ideal gas i hope things were clear to you please subscribe for to watch more videos of physics chemistry and biology thank you